the most important part of CAD preparation is self preparation. My quant score was not at all good. It was around 90 percent, which was a shock for me. There was a huge tricky loophole in the Venn diagram question involved. I spent 20 minutes in that question. I was seriously not able to crack the entirety of the question. So I come from an IIT. I'm supposed to be good at math. So when I look at a question, I know I'll be able to solve it. So when I'm not able to solve it, and I'm, I know that I'm not able to solve three or four questions in a row, it just, it just, it's too much for my mind. So I'm Deepan, uh, I was born and brought up in Calcutta. I did my schooling from DPS Newtown in Calcutta itself. Uh, in 2019, I gave my boards and I joined IIT Roper um, as a computer science BTEC person. Uh, I passed out this year itself. Uh, in 2023, I gave my CAT last year, November, uh, and I joined IIM Indore uh, for an MBA. So I'm a fresher candidate. So it starts when I joined IIT Roper as a computer science person. I was interested in tech. I wanted to do something in software. That was all there. So it's not that I did not like the courses. I did, I did like the courses. I was enjoying, I was getting good grades itself. At the end of third year, as I was progressing through the curriculum, I figured that, okay, so this is what I like to do in my free time. This is what I like to do as most part of the day. But when it is assigned to me as a job itself, I might not be able to enjoy it as much. So even in the summer internship itself, I felt like, like this is not what I want to do. I mean, there was very little people interaction involved. You sit in front of the computer all day. You're assigned a part of the work and people just check up on you. And then uh, I wasn't able to understand how the work will be aggregated to form uh, an output product, right? So I wanted to understand that. Uh, so by the end of third year itself, I had to decide whether I'll move forward with the software career or I'll switch, switch to an MBA. Trying to do an MBA had been lagging in my mind for the first year, second year itself, but I wasn't completely sure. I was, it was still a backup plan. But by the end of third year, I knew I had to start preparing for CAT. So I had to make up my mind, and I did make up my mind, uh, and I gave my CAT in November. So in CAT, I got the highest in uh, verbal, which was 99.8 percentile. Uh, next was DILR, which was 98.5 percentile. My quant score was not at all good. It was around 90 percentile, which was a shock for me. So when you start any examination prep, uh, you start to measure yourself. That where do I stand? There will be some people who are already good at some things in the examination, so they do not have to give the same amount of effort in comparison to someone who doesn't know anything. So I think for the first two weeks when you start your preparation, you should start measuring yourself. You should be very aware of where you stand. Uh, you should know, so I'm not good at math, so I have to good, give more time to math. I'm good at verbal, I might not be able to give that much time to verbal. So first two weeks will take up in that. Then you should definitely start getting into material uh, preparation. You should start buying books, you can surf the internet, you can look through other cat stories, etc. And you should buy dedicated textbooks or prep material for each and every section. So what I did was that I bought the books. I bought the Arun Sharma books uh, from Amazon. So I started doing the books one by one. But before I started doing the books, uh, I think in the first week itself, you should again chart it out. How many chapters are there? What is the difficulty level of each and every chapter? Is there any chapter which is asked more in the CAT examination? At the fag end of July, I had started preparing. So it was simple enough. I took one book every day if I know that I have to do one chapter of quant and, for example, five to six sets of DLRI. So I did that and um, I used to do it in the evening. After my internship till five was over, I used to do that. Uh, by August, I, I was knee deep into it. So before I was covering only two chapters uh, per day, but now I had to cover like both data interpretation, logical reasoning, quant, all in a single day. Uh, so in the initial part of the preparation, you're not supposed to be extremely time bound because that will uh, restrict your um, performance, right? You're supposed to understand, am I able to do this question or not? If you're able to do this question, speeding up your capabilities will happen in the last print of the, of the mile, right? So I just started doing one by one all the books. So that solving part of the book went on till October. So then I had like a couple of three weeks left and I started giving mocks and I started revising. So revision is very important. Start making notes uh, once you're going through with the chapters because you will forget. It's very difficult, easy to forget because other things are up in your mind as well. You are a student or you're a professional, you're working. 
So in the last three weeks itself, you start giving mocks, you start revising, and then you go for the examination. The most important part of CAD preparation is self-preparation. So you can look for online resources, you can look for all the interviews that other CAD toppers have given, you can look for uh, the coaching uh, teachers, what they're saying about the preparation of the trends in the CAT examination. But uh, that should be done in the only initial part of the journey, when you're charting out your own roadmap. After charting out your own roadmap, if you continue to look back what, at what others have done, it might not give you the boost to move forward. So uh, resources per se, I did not have any coaching because I did not have time to get into any coaching. I had my morning classes running from morning till uh, evening, right? I was in my fourth year. Uh, I was also uh, knee deep into my BTEC project. I was also preparing for my uh, placements because I knew I needed a backup in, if I do not get into any IIM. So it was a very hectic day. I did not feel the need or I did not have the time to go forward with any coaching. For resources, uh, I think you should buy textbooks, any physical copy of textbooks. And then you should uh, take up a mock, uh, mock test series, uh, uh, you know, time or etc. And for other online resources, um, I think just use uh, free resources effectively. Search on YouTube. I think Inside IM also has such uh, resources. Search in YouTube. Look at how toppers are seeing the trends of the examination. Uh, are they forecasting anything that might help you in your own plan, right? And then use a self-prepare. If you just continue to move forward with other what other people have done, it might not be as, as fruitful. <laughs> The format of the examination is that first you give verbal, then you give the ILR, and then you give quant. So in the first section, verbal, since it's just starting out for the examination, candidates generally are in a free state of mind. So they know how to attempt it well. That happened the same for me. I was very okay with the examination format. I was sitting down, solving questions one by one. I was not in a time crunch. So it went extremely well. I was like, this is, I'm very confident I will get a good score in that. Then as soon as the exam, like the section ends, you're suddenly bombarded with the DIL. There's no gap in between. So DILR, again, papers, you know, people are writing down things. I'm also writing down. So I took 10, 15 seconds just to figure out, okay, DILR has started. So the first set itself, I was like, I can do this. This is a basic logical reasoning question based on some, some uh, puzzles or something. I knew I could do it. So I could do it, basically. I was stuck in a roadblock, but in the first 10 minutes itself, I knew I could do it. So next, there were three other sections remaining, not sections, the sets remaining, right? So I knew that I had to solve one set really well if I had to get a good benchmark score. So the next step was the choosing which of the sets I'll do. So I just looked through all of them. There was one set which I think I could have done because it was based on Venn diagrams. So I was always very good in Venn diagrams. In the mocks, if I would have got Venn diagrams, I would have been very happy because I would have been able to solve it completely. In this case, it was not the case. There was a huge tricky loophole in the Venn diagram question involved. I spent 20 minutes in that question. I was seriously not able to crack the entirety of the question. So I could solve around 70-80% uh, of the uh, question. Like I, th I think out of five, there were five questions. I think I could solve three questions out of that. So by the time I could so solve three questions, again, the ILR ran out. Uh, the quant uh, is suddenly coming up and I think in my set or in the just this year itself, quant was particularly on the heavier side. Uh, so I had not expected that quant question will take me five minutes per question in some questions because it was so difficult. And the other roadblock or I'll say mental roadblock was that, so I come from an IIT, I'm supposed to be good at math. So when I look at a question, I know I'll be able to solve it. So when I'm not able to solve it and I'm, I know that I'm not able to solve three or four questions in a row, it just, it just, it's too much for my mind. I'm not able to, I, I start panicking, right? So that's exactly what happened. I would say that do not panic if things are not going well. Do not attempt the question section wise. I think first 30 seconds should be in quant itself. You should do a run of the, all the questions. Start solving the questions you know you will be able to do. Do not get bogged down by one particular question. That is what happened to me. I think in the first six or seven question, I was not able to solve it. So the questions were in such a way that I knew I could devote some time to the question, so I started solving it, but time was running out and I'm not able to reach to the answer. So that is just sunk cost. I mean, you're not able to revive that time. That time is just lost. You do not get to an answer. You are also losing the time because you could have devoted that time to a particular other question. So as time was running out, I kept finding that the questions at the end of the question paper were much, much easier than the beginning of the question paper. So that was a big setback for me. I was like, I could have done that. So I think by the end, by the half of the time, I knew that I cannot go sequentially. I started picking questions. And that's when I started actually solving the questions. 
but you uh, know my mind had already given up by then i knew that uh, this is not going well but i knew that i have to do something uh, this is the last chance that i get i have to do well in quant so i started picking and choosing questions i started picking up the topics that i was already good at and i could do uh, seven or eight questions i think out of out of whatever number of questions was given so i got only indoor call so this was again a shock for me i had expected that i'll get a call from cozy code at least so i got 99.3 percentile my board squares were scores were really good my 10th scores was 96% my 12th boards was also 96.8% and my cgpa was 8.2 and that cgpa was not getting used in some of the other iims ka calculation so i was not worried about that and my cat percentile was 99.35 So I'll say that uh, again. Know your strengths. Know where to play because uh, the CAT examination is more about playing on your strengths rather than pondering over your weaknesses. Secondly, do not fixate too much on the college. If you start fixating itself, you know, for for the first day itself about A B C or A B C I L K, uh, there are a lot of candidates who expect that they'll do extremely well, but they're not able to do well, and those candidates never come to the limelight, right? so you have a fake illusion in front of you that whoever is preparing ekdam acche se will get into a good iim that is not the case that is not the case for any competitive examination so instead of focusing completely on the college itself start to focus that i'll get into a good college you know widen your periphery of a good college abc are the not just the good colleges of the world black is is not the the best colleges of the world there are other colleges as well where other good people also go so widen your horizon uh, and give your best